Good afternoon, New London, and welcome back to another KTTV broadcast. I'm Riley Grogan. And I'm Cameron Watson. It's Friday, March 20th. On this episode of KTTV, we have a review of Spring Fling Week, the fifth grade lock-in, and a public service announcement about your laptops. From snowblowers to lawnmowers, see George's Lawnmower for all your outdoor home equipment needs. George's Lawnmower, located on Agency Street in West Burlington, Iowa. Nice to have weather get so suddenly nice last week, Cameron. Yeah, it was great to be able to get outside and enjoy the warm temperatures. The warm temperatures brought out the feeling of summer, so the high school spring fling took place at the perfect time last week. High school students took part in dress-up days during the week, competing for class points, had a dodgeball tournament throughout the week, and then had a beach-themed dance on the 13th. So Cameron, how was dodgeball? It was great, Riley. We went 5-0 and in the championship match. Still lost to the juniors. Prove it. Here's Ryan Straw with a recap of Spring Fling Week. I'm Justin Henneke. My favorite part of Mismatch Day is being able to look like a fool. My name is Cameron Blint. My favorite part was the dance. I'm Savannah Sutherland. Pattern Day. I was funky. I was, yeah. My favorite dress up day was Neon Day. Tell us how you feel being the winner of the 2015 I feel like I need to go see a chiropractor. What was your favorite dress up day, Riley? Um, probably Team Day. How about you? Mine definitely would have been Neon Day. While the high school students were busy dancing the night away, the fifth grade had their annual Friday the 13th lock-in. In fact, those same fifth graders are guests in our studio today. They had a ton of fun playing games, sharing talents, eating food, and hanging out with the big dogs. Us, of course. <laughs> Go ahead and take a look. Hi, I'm Cameron Watson. And I'm Riley Grogan. We're wow. here recording at Clark for your yeah, fifth grade lock-in. The students arrived at 5 for a meeting with their teachers and Mr. Palmatier. If you hear somebody holler jailbreak, that means everybody who's in jail gets to come back in. My favorite part was dodgeball because Mrs. Garrett's class beat Mrs. Miller's class. At 6 o'clock, the students went to the cafeteria to eat. At seven, the students and teachers showed off their own talents in their own talent show. My favorite act from the talent show was the magic trick. Except for the three of diamonds, oh my which gosh. is in the black pile.
After the talent show, dodgeball and other games began for the night. My favorite part of the lock-in was dodgeball because I got Cameron out. My favorite part was dodgeball because I was trying to hit Cameron all the time, but that never worked. My favorite part about the fifth grade lock-in was dodgeball because I got nailed in the face by Riley Grogan. I'm Cameron Watson, and I'm Riley Grogan. Back to you. Well, looks like that's us, Riley. I had a great time playing dodgeball with the kids. After my dominating performance, they referred to me as the dodgeball sniper. Did you enjoy the, lo the lock-in, Riley? In fact, I had a... All right, Riley, that's enough. Back to more important things like me. Do you want to avoid those end-of-the-year costs with the laptop? Here's Ethan Hendrickson with some tips to help you avoid those extra costs. This is Ethan Hendrickson giving you a few tips to keep your computers in better condition. First, make sure you wrap your charger correctly. Make a loop before wrapping to ease tension off of the wire. If you don't do this, your charger may stop functioning correctly. You see the ports on the side of the computer? Place the computer in the bag with the side facing up to prevent damaging of the ports. The third and final tip is to position the bag on your body correctly when walking. You surely don't want your bag or computer to get damaged. There you have it. Three simple tips to ensure you get the most out of your MacBook. Be sure to, que to ask questions if you have any regarding end of the year computer check-ins. Now Cameron, did you know each day is more unique than we usually realize? I did actually. For instance, I found out that today is snowman burning day to symbolize the end of winter. Spring officially starts today, and it's National Ravioli Day, which just makes me hungry to think about. Okay, you're making my stomach growl. Just think about it. Also, it's the end of the day of international happiness today. Visit dayofhappiness.net to get ideas for making someone else's day happier. What will you do to make today happy? Be sure to come out and support our high school choir students as they perform their variety show from New York to New London. Tonight and tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Admission is $5 for adults and $3 for students, and passes will be accepted. Also, next Tuesday, New London hosts the Conference Quiz Bowl competition starting at 4. Contact Mr. Anderson for more information. We'll see you next time on... Tiger, Tiger Television! Television.